Hasidic Gems on Parshas Wes Hanan. <coughs> it says in the Torah, Moshe Rabbeinu very, very much wanted to enter Eretz Yisrael. And it says, He daven to Hashem, for Wes Hanan El Hashem, He daven to Hashem, Bo Eis Hahi Lemer. At that time, He daven to Hashem. That's the simple. The Hasidish Torah, I think. I think this one is like a classic. Horava Kodesh, Rabbi Doiv Ber Mimezrich says that, and this is one of the stra- most strange type of. Uh, understanding this is not a usual type of a, a explanation he says like this what does it mean at that time he says that the time when a person learns Torah and Davins the time was so happy the time was happy the time was happy. It's it's by Sahi. The time was lamer. Was saying, I'm so happy that my time that this my time was utilized to learn Torah. So how much more so can we learn if a person actually learns Torah? Even the time is so happy when Torah is learned during its time, and it's not wasted. But if somebody sits and learns Torah, what a schus that is, and how proud and how how lucky we are that we're able to learn Hashem's Torah. The ace is saying, happy that they're happy that it's being used. Continuing with Hasidic gems on Pashas Ves Hanan. Rava Kodesh Rabbi Yisoche Doiv Beirish says a different interpretation, which is also relevant to everybody in the world. Moshe Rabbeinu was davening, he was praying, Bo'eis hahi lemer. He was sp- speaking about that day. Which day? The day that we all will face one day and we have to die. So, Bo'eis hanan el Hashem, that that during the at the time when they have to be nifta from the world, they should be able to say, Hashem Elohim, Hashem is God. They will able, they will be able to say that with a clear mind. And that's what Moshe Rabbeinu was davening. For Hanan El Hashem, that Bo'eshahi at that time, that time that we all know will someday come, we hope after 120 but the the time itself is so happy it, we should we should be able to have a clear mind and, and be able to say with a clear mind Hashem who Hashem Hashem is God continuing with Gavaldiga Hasidish Torah on Parshas Vayeschanan It says, it says in the Pasuk, that Hashem Hu Elohim, 
כי השם הוא, הוא אלוקים בשמיים ממעל ועל הארץ מתוכס, השם is God in the heavens above and on the land below. אין עוד, there is no other ריבוי נשלם. one ריבוי נשלם. that's the simple. תחסידי שתר לך סי אין עוד. That's all you have to know. There's nothing else. We don't have to learn anything, Chas V'Shalom. All we have to know is, Ein Oid. There's no other God besides the Rebbe Nishlana. Ein Oid. Harav HaKodesh, Reb Aaron HaGodl Mikalin. Continuing with Gewaldig HaChasid HaShetorilach, It says in the Pesach, Oynechi oymeid bein Hashem uveinechem. Moshe Rabbeinu was saying, I stood between Hashem and between you. It came a time that they were afraid, Klaus was afraid to hear the voice of Hashem speak, and they wanted Moshe Rabbeinu to tell them what the Rabbeinu Shalom wants. So he, the Moshe Rabbeinu is saying in the Pesach, Onechi, I made Ben Hashem uveinechem. I stood between Hashem and between you. I was, I, was, I was blocking that Hashem should penetrate to you because you were afraid to hear it. That's the simple. תחסין שתאיר לך הרב הקודש רבי יחיל מיכל מזלוצ'ב says there's nothing that blocks that separates between Hashem and man as much as אונכי. אונכי אוי מייד בין Hashem וביניכם. If a person is out only for himself, for the fazich, He's only out for himself. He only thinks about himself. He doesn't care to do anything for others, to help others. If a person has such a mida, such a bad mida, of only thinking about himself, it separates. It, 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 it separates between Hashem and the person. That bad me that blocks that person of ever, 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 ever getting closer to Hashem. I think that's it for today. Okay.